Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Embarrassing. Booker breaks Senate rules and it just instantly exploded in his face. The confirmation of Justice Brian Kavanaugh has been highly contentious and very ugly from the outset. Made so by paid protesters and rabble rousers, along with congressional members of the Democratic Party that seem far more intent on obstruction than they do on actually fulfilling the duties of the tasks allotted to the positions they were elected to fulfill. Senator Cory Booker, and J.D., continued that tradition on day two of the hearings as he postured and bloviated for a dog-and-pony show of his own creation full of a lot of fanfare and overinflated ego. After referring to himself as Spartacus on Thursday morning, Booker declared dramatically that he was prepared to figuratively throw himself on his sword for the American people, stating if he lost his elected position as senator for breaking the rules then so be it. Booker said, I am, right now, before your process is finished, I am going to release the email about racial profiling. I understand that the penalty comes with potential ousting from the Senate. Much grandstanding and innuendo as to the exact nature of the emails abounded, making sure all the world knew, at least in Booker's mind, the email would be damning in nature and could potentially hurt the nomination of Justice Kavanaugh. Despite being sternly rebuked by Grassley and later Senator John Cornyn, TXR, Booker and his team of sycophants and yes-men chose to ignore and release the documents in defiance to rules governing the process. As Booker acted as master of ceremonies, the 2020 presidential hopeful was warned that threatening to release the emails in such a fashion constituted an action that could cause Booker to be removed from his position as a United States senator. Clearly, not taking the warning seriously, Booker followed up that bravado with this narcissistic commentary, stating, This is about the closest I'll probably ever have in my life to an, I am Spartacus moment. Senate Rule 29, 29, Section 5, which Booker may be subject to for releasing Kavanaugh email, any senator, who shall disclose the secret or confidential business or proceedings of the Senate, shall be liable, if a senator, to suffer expulsion from the body. Booker then declared to one and all that he quite literally did not care if he lost his position. Resisting President Trump's nomination of Justice Kavanaugh was the ultimate prize and for that, Booker declared to one and all that he quite literally did not care if he lost his position, stating Dash. I am, right now, before your process is finished, I am going to release the email about racial profiling. I understand that the penalty comes with potential ousting from the Senate. However, all of that fanfare and posturing went to show that just as Kavanaugh was against the racial profiling of people while working in the Bush White House. According to the Daily Caller the email states dash. The fury over the documents led to a letdown for Democrats. The documents only demonstrated that in 2002, soon after the 9-11 attacks, Kavanaugh was against the racial profiling of people while working for the Bush White House. Kavanaugh told colleagues in the email that he favors effective security measures that are race-neutral for airports, and he is against race-based remedies for law enforcement in the aftermath of the attack. Booker's tweet in which he released documents against Senate Rule 29, 29, Section 5, merely served to enhance the reputation of President Trump's pick for a next U.S. Supreme Court justice. Meanwhile, Booker himself was humiliated on social media for the world to see. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.